So back in July 23rd of 2020, we got the infamous State of Decay 3 trailer, and it went without saying that a lot of us have been extremely hyped about the game ever since. Yet here we are about to close in on the end of 2022, and we still haven't heard a whole lot, but I've managed to uncover a ton of information in the past year from new features we are absolutely going to see, the new engine the game will run on, tons of developer quotes on the game not seen anywhere else but on this channel. But before we do, here is a message from today's sponsor. With that, this video is sponsored by Opera GX, the world's first gaming browser. And what I like about this browser is the power I have, like GX Control, that comes with the ability of a CPU limiter or even a RAM limiter, giving you the juice for a heavy playing session of State of Decay 2. There's even a network limiter that helps you keep your optimum settings for online play. But what is awesome with this browser, you can run Discord, Twitch, or even Twitter, limiting the annoying apps and pages that you have to keep up on your PC. And finally, let's Let's talk the newest feature like Opera GX now available via mobile, a great way to continue the awesome perks that you get, even GX Corner, all with the touch of your phone. But my favorite thing to do is play State of Decay with xCloud on Opera GX, which I have to say is an excellent experience. With that, join me by downloading Opera GX and using it as your main browser completely free by clicking on those links in the description. You have nothing to lose, guys. Again, it's completely free. So with that, let's start from the beginning and we'll get the obvious out of the way and cover the upcoming feature State of Decay 3 is set to have based on the trailer. And it focused on the winter setting and a zombie deer turning the tables and eating a wolf. Now the weather system is something that has been lacking in the franchise so far. There's been no real rain, I mean forget about even snow, and the obvious inclusion of the zombie deer and wolf is very apparent there. But well, within the past 12 months, there's actually been a lot of job listings from Undead Labs looking to hire roles that know a lot about the implementation of wildlife and animals pointing to the fact that we are absolutely not only about to see deer and wolves but actually a varied wildlife in general undead labs hiring for an artist and devs who know how to implement a creature system is something they've been looking for so this really backs up what we've seen in the trailer and this more than likely will be expanded upon to see a lot of different creatures outside of that wolf and deer could we actually see a more realistic survival implementation where you get to skin animals you get to use them for food and at the same time you'll be facing these in a crazy new dangerous foe in these zombie animals in general now another big article that came out months ago said that they were preparing features that had a dynamic animal spawns that were based on weather so undead labs themselves have also been focusing on the weather element itself something that we also see very much in the trailer and something that would be new to the franchise now in that quote that i just showed you it also says they were testing a refined parkour system so think of Dying Light 2 in that regard, but there's been no other information on that regarding the parkour system or how that would even look, and I have to say that would be quite interesting to see in State of Decay 3. Now, those were the most obvious things that I can safely say we're going to see in the next game, but some things not publicly known that I found out that will change the franchise on a fundamental level has also been discovered. Keep in mind though, development on these things could change at any time, but things like a new relationship system. About a year ago, Undead Labs was hiring for a narrative designer who is set to implement this new system in the game. We don't have more details outside of this listing, but one could imagine something like the characters in your community actually responding to each other in a more significant way than they do now. For example, someone dies out scavenging in the world, well your actual community will potentially get depressed about it and have a reaction to it, and it could lead to some spiraling out of control with morale. Something that is not very well done currently in the State of Decay franchise. Maybe even potential romantic relationships could be a thing within this new system. There's really a lot of possibilities, but it looks like Undead Labs is certainly working on that, and this is one of many things that I've discovered that Undead Labs is absolutely going to double down on this game, and that is story. Now, back some months ago, Jez Corden from Windows Central had a quote that he had heard from Undead Lab sources that the next game is set to have a greater emphasis on characters and the narrative of the game which that job listing that i just showed backs that up easily but you don't even need to take my own word for it take a listen to someone you're going to hear a lot in this video jeffrey card from undead labs a current game designer for state of decay 3 listen to what he says about story in the upcoming game so oh, zed zaster was wondering you know because uh you know dying light 2 really really doubled down on storytelling they're wondering if uh if state of decay 3 is going to do something similar i obviously cannot 
not answer any questions about State of Decay 3, so I can't give you anything solid to go on. But, you know, I mean, we've definitely taken to heart the uh, the criticism that State of Decay 1 got, where, you know, a lot of players felt like uh, just there wasn't really a story at all. And that really, I mean, our focus was on the mechanical elements of the game, trying to make it feel like it was it was your story that you were telling and not some story that we had authored. And I think that that... That um, sense that we really want it to be your story, I think, is going to continue. I think that's an, an important part of the franchise, but there are better and worse ways to handle story uh, in that context. And so I think that we probably can theoretically do a better job of managing story in that context than we did in, you know, in State of Decay 2. So, I mean, I, yeah, I think there's definitely improvements we could make. And so if you're looking for improvements, I mean, yeah, I, I think that there's a good chance that State of Decay 3 would do a better job. How exactly it would do a better job, though? Um, I don't know. We're, 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 we're going to try hard and see <laughs> see what we can accomplish. So there you have it. The next game is really going to double or even triple down on the dynamics of the story, the community that you play with, and a lot more. But the story and the single player portion of this game is not the only thing Undead Lab seems to be working on with State of Decay 3. I've also managed to find a litany of evidence that there's going to be a huge multiplayer aspect of this title. Currently in State of Decay 2, multiplayer does exist, but it's only a several player players and they have to join someone's world and overall it's pretty bare bones and pretty lackluster. But former Undead Labs head Jeff Strain back when the first State of Decay game came out over a decade plus ago said that they had an ultimate vision and that ultimate vision was that the State of Decay franchise would be a large scale full online world game that would allow thousands of players to run around in it in a much larger server hosted world. Now Jeff himself is no longer with Undead Labs but in in recent quotes dating back just within the past 12 months, he has gone on to say that the State of Decay franchise is now on its way to achieving its ultimate vision with the next game. Is that vision a full online world with thousands of players running around in it? Well, back some months ago, I found exactly something hinting similar to that in a job listing for a principal systems designer. And in this listing, it said live ops experience and balance interconnected system, but also mentioning experience with the design of online games as a service, including, and this is the big part here, player retention mechanics and a live game system balance slash maintenance. Now, I asked a friend of mine who works for one of the biggest gaming publishers in the world, and he does this kind of hiring. I asked him what this listing could be. He thought immediately to him, this looks like an MMO, and I think he could be right. But I think it could also mean that it could be a more instance approach with multiplayer, maybe not thousands, but several dozen to 100 players. I'm thinking of an example like Destiny that's always an online game as a service, but not necessarily as big scaled as like say a World of Warcraft. There was also another confirmation of there being a big online presence in the next game by an Xbox insider, and I'll have that link below to that video where I talk about it. So before though, all you guys who love single player people really freak out at what I just mentioned, my thoughts are there will definitely be a very deep single player experience that we have seen the last two games. And it's definitely going to carry over into the next one, as you guys have seen from all the things like the relationship system and all that. But I also think there might be very well a completely different online experience set to come with State of Decay 3, though how that's going to look exactly is still what we're all trying to guess. But like if everything so far that I've told you sounds like, man, that is a crap ton of stuff. Well, that's because it is. And there's evidence to suggest that Microsoft and Undead Labs are absolutely up for the task. Months ago, we found out a third third new studio has opened up in Orlando, focusing on animation technology. That's now three studios in total for Undead Labs, where Undead Labs employees are working from on the game from Seattle, Champaign, Illinois, and now Orlando, Florida. Now, I've seen maybe a dozen times, if not more, that State of Decay 3 is going to be a huge AAA title that Microsoft is going all in on. There have been tons of information that this game is set to be of AAA quality, which is pretty significant news for the game itself that is also set to feature Unreal Engine 5. So really expect major leaps and bounds in both quality and visuals and animations of the game because the first two games have been, and this is important, have been double A quality from a double A studio. Undead Labs is no longer small. They are much, much bigger and it's easy to see why after everything that I've outlined and all the things that they're being really ambitious about and planning to implement into the game. But all right, all that sounds great, but where is the game now and what's up with the release day and when can we we expect to see it. Well, back in March of 2022, I directly asked Jeffrey Card what's going on with the game. Take a listen to what he had to say. Uh, yeah, Sunday games. Um, 
Uh, yes, Sunny Games. Uh, uh, State of Decay 3 is still in pre-production. Uh, we're taking our time with it. You know, it's, we're not in a massive rush uh, to just get the game out on shelves. Uh, you know, State of Decay 2 is still going strong, and uh, we really want to sort of, you know, take our time and figure out how to do it right. So, yeah, it's still in pre-production. Um, and Which is why I keep telling people, you know, don't, don't make, you know, the release of State of Decay 3 uh, sort of the thing that you build your whole life around because, you know, we can't, uh, we can't promise when that's going to be. Uh, we're still we're working on it in the background, and at the same time, we're coming up with more ways to make State of Decay two more fun and keep and keep that game going. So, you know, there's just there's a lot going on over here, but uh, but yeah, we're we're taking our time. Now that was some time back in March of this year, and by all indications, this game still has a very long way to go. I did recently ask a few weeks ago in August this month, I asked if this game was still in pre production just to get a follow up. To which surprisingly, Mr. Card had no comment, which tells me it's very possible finally this game is now out of pre-production as usually he wouldn't mind telling me that the game is still much in pre-production phase but either way as back as late march 2022 the game was in pre-production indicating we really do have a long time to go before we see a release date firstly my prediction has been steady that at the very earliest we'd see this game would probably be late 2023 and i still think that's generous but all indications have pushed that state of decay 3 more than likely won't see the light of day until way sometime until 20 24, but it's very possible we could start to hear some news of the game itself maybe even late this year or sometime next year so i'm very positive we are going to start to see some kind of news within the next 12 months just not a release date so then I hear some of you are probably going to ask me why did they release a trailer in 2020 if this game is so far away from release? Well, I want you to take a listen to this. Uh, Surreal Diagonal, I mean, part of it is just, you know, we want people to uh, to, to know what we're working on. You know, like, we, I think there's a certain amount of openness that we that we like. You know, we want people to know that we're actually working on a sequel to this franchise. That my, Basically, I think the message of that teaser trailer was Microsoft has bought Undead Labs and they intend to continue this franchise. They want to turn uh, State of Decay into a major long-running franchise uh, you know, that, that the studio really invests in. And so releasing a teaser for State of Decay 3 drives that home and says, look, we have invested something serious in this franchise. Um, it doesn't mean, it wasn't meant to say this is coming out soon. It was meant to say, Look what Microsoft is doing with all these studios that they've So Microsoft, for all intents and purposes, is more than likely going to have State of Decay 3 be a flagship title for the Xbox brand in 2024. And that makes a ton of sense with the new studios being opened up for Undead Labs themselves. The sheer amount of investment that has turned this little double-A studio into what looks now to be a powerhouse studio within the Microsoft brand. But even on this front, you don't even have to take my word on this. Earlier this year, Phil Spencer, head of Xbox himself, had to say this on State of Decay 3, and what he says to me was pretty eye-opening. Take a listen to this. You look at some of the projects you've got coming up this year, you know, we've got Redfall, we've got yeah. Starfield, we've got, you know, Deathloop presumably is going to arrive at some point. What are some of the, what's the project out of all of them? I'm not asking you to pick a favorite, just your personal exciting, you know, which one excites you the most, even if it's something we haven't seen. So feel free to tease the community as we close things out. <laughs> feel free to be, you know, be a little bit teasy. This is so hard because... <laughs> We have so many teams that are doing so much great work. Yeah. Um, another another team, and this one's probably not that big of a surprise for people who've watched me play, but I was a big State of Decay 2 player um, and Undead with, uh, uh, you know, the looking at State of Decay 3 um, and the just I'm, I'm incredibly excited about some of the mm. advancements they're going to make. Uh, they've had this pattern. They've talked about it publicly of, from State of Decay 1 to 2 to 3 and what they want to do. And we haven't shown a lot um, on, on State of Decay, but it's it's a game that I just, I really enjoy playing. I'm a big co-op player. I like building, I like resourcing. Um, and I, I just, I'm, I'm really excited about where that team's going. But, so out of know, all the studios on there, he could have listed, he mentioned State of Decay 3 and Undead Labs had him very excited. And I have to say, I'm right there with him. From everything I've outlined to you guys, this game is set to be massive and on a great scale than we've ever seen from a post-apocalyptic game ever made, and honestly, potentially the highest budget. Backed by Microsoft and Phil Spencer, this is easily going to be one of the most ambitious titles to come out in the next couple years. I personally hope it lives up to the expectations that everyone seemingly has for it, including myself. Let me know what you guys think about this below, and check out the videos on the screen to hear more about news for State of Decay 3.